بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ایز ان دا لاسٹ کلاس وی واز اسٹارٹنگ اباؤٹ دا ڈیزائن رولس اینڈ وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دا پرنسپلز رولس گائڈ لائنز اینڈ اسٹینڈرڈس سو ناؤ وی آر ٹوڈے گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی اباؤٹ ڈفرینٹ گولڈن رولس اینڈ ہیورسٹکس اینڈ آئی ایز آئی ٹولڈ یو ٹو دی ان ٹوڈیز کلاس ویل اسٹڈی دا شائڈر مینس ایٹ گولڈن رولس نارمن سیون پرنسپلز اینڈ نیلسنس ٹین ہیورسٹکس So let's start with Schneider men's eight golden rules. Number one, strive for the consistency. Consistency means uniformity. So if I ask you that your every page of the portal must have a same theme. There is the color scheme, the buttons, the control. Those must have similar to each other. So that means I want your portal to be more consistent. more uniform so the first rule says that strive for the consistency and in terms of many things in terms of action sequences for example if i say that on the screen home screen i am providing these options and option a is at place 1 option b is at place 2 option c is at place 3 and then i say that on the next screen again i have option a b c but now option a is at place 3 option b is at place 1 then it will not be uh, uniform it will be inconsistent so it says if you provide some action sequences those must be similar on all pages if i am doing some 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 function and i'll have to press three buttons then i must be doing the same on every page at every place for the same action so the action must be same so it it increases the learnability that is why it must be consistent the layout as i told you about the theme whatever i am showing i am showing them in a similar manner the consistent manner terminologies if i am using different words on my screen on my software then those terminologies must also be consistent it must not be at somewhere i am using a word add to add a new record right and somewhere i am using new record and somewhere i am uh, i am using add new record so what it is saying that what what terminology you are using at one place those terminologies must be used in that entire application uh, add in that whole portal in that complete application or the program so terminologies must be seen the command used must be seen so that is whatever we are doing our website our uh, mobile application our desktop application must not be a mixture of so many things it it must be consistent so that when i move from one screen to another i feel no shock in it i do not feel something different i feel like yes i am in the same application so this is something that is consistency related way then enable frequent users to use shortcut for example if you are using the computer and you are frequent user who is using all the time that you are some computer scientist it specialist software engineer and you are using the computer all the time then there must be shortcut keys so that you may not need to take your hand to the mouse and go to the menu and then cut copy or paste or something whatever you're doing on the computer you simply say control c control x control v control z whatever so you have got the shortcut keys so in fact with the help of these you make the frequent user more productive he or she can work better he or she can perform more uh, in less time so this is something we in, we can you provide the shortcuts such as abbreviations special key sequences macros to perform regular familiar actions more quickly so it speeds up our task if we provide the shortcuts number 3 offer informative feedback for every user action for example if i am doing something it must tap tell me that what is being done what is going on so for that purpose i need a feedback 
and that must be informative I must know if for example if I am copying it must show me some status bar that is showing me okay half of the files have been copied uh, one third of the files have been copied or one third of a file have been copied so in fact it must provide me the informative feedback point number four is design dialogues to yield clear in fact sometime it happens when you people design a software and I ask you okay enter a record and you enter a record and I say okay what you simply tell me sir it has been saved so I normally ask you how can I know that it has been saved then you take me to the back end you open the table and you show me look sir here is the record but my question is still there how did I know that it has been saved you must show me something that my task is complete so you must show me a dialogue that must tell me the cloyer that cloyer means the task has been done I have achieved my goal so it says design dialogues to yield cloyer so that the user knows when they have completed a task so when I get for example a message a dialogue box saying one record saved successfully it will be my cloyer okay done I have done that if I have copied something and it shows me one file has been successfully copied or it shows me in a folder the file cop the copied file in it then it is something clear for me okay it has been done now I can move to the next next task or I can just remove my flash from the uh, laptop so it must provide me the clear to tell me that the task is complete or incomplete in both cases offer error prevention and simple simple error handling normally we know that our user can make a mistake he can enter invalid data he can try to enter invalid data so what we do we normally must at first try to prevent the error we must apply the validation checks so that user cannot enter the wrong data invalid data but if sometimes somewhere an error occurs an exception appears we must catch it and handle it we must provide a proper mechanism to our user so that he may or she may recover from that error situation our system must not crash down so this is important number six permit easy reversal of action it is very much easier that is control z provide undo to every user so that they must be able to explore the software as much as possible because the software that do not take us to the back state, state that do not take us to the previous state the user is always afraid of exploring the software so we provide the undo option or the control z option with the help of which we can apply the easy reversal of action so we can undo it so in order to relieve anxiety and encourage exploration since the user knows that he can always return to the previous state control Z so to provide them the reversal of action seven is support internal locus of control locus of control in fact is a psychological idea that who is in charge who is doing the work <coughs> as I told you in the case of modal dialog boxes that if a modal dialog box is there and there are many modal dialog boxes that are taking control from the user and asking him to uh, provide the answer or to give the uh, some some for example uh, option for that so in that case in fact we are making the f we are making our user feel that the control is with computer computer is controlling us we are not using the computer computer is using us so this is a concept that locus of control is we must provide the user a feeling that he is in charge he is using the software so that the user is in control of the system which responds to his action system is working on his commands so this gives a relief to this to the user and he feels like okay I am using the computer and I can uh, do one thing two things four things multi multitasking is there so he is doing everything with his own will and his own requirement and last is reduce short-term memory load normally in the past we had the commands 
and we had to memorize each command its switches everything but now as we have normally displays now we have a GUI so what we are doing we can show different options we can show different commands icons anything on the uh, screen so with the help of which our user is not is that does not need to memorize everything he recognizes the thing he clicks the options he performs the task and there is no need to put load on his short-term memory so we can say that reduce short-term memory load by keeping displays simple very much important there is there must not be too much on a display so that the user must be able to find his or her options easily consolidating multiple pages page displays and providing time for learning action sequence so that we have a very easy mechanism to use the system and it is a it has some sequential order so our user can do one thing then the second then the next then the next and he reaches to the end and the whole job is done so there is nothing for the user to recall or to just uh, memorize he is doing step by step the things and he has no load on his short term memory so this is all about the Schneiderman's 8 golden rules hope you will understand these try to understand these thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi क्या वो अंकल नहीं खाना खा रहे